collations allow users to specify language-specific rules for string comparison, such as rules for letter case and accent marks. A collation is defined in MongoDB by the following options. Locale determines the ICU-supported locale for such a collation. And then we have case level, case first, strength, numeric ordering, alternate, max variable, and backwards. These specific options and what they represent are out of scope. However, you should be aware that there are multiple different settings that collations allow. Now, collations can be defined at several different levels. We can define a collation for a collection, which means that all queries and indexes created in such collection will be using that particular collation. In this case, we have a collation for the Portuguese language on foreign text collection. I'm going to insert this document on my recently created collection using the Portuguese collation for that effect. Once I insert the document, I can execute a find on that particular collection. After that, I execute the explain plan on this query, I can see that the collation used for this particular query will be the Portuguese collation. We'll have a winning plan where we will use a indexed query using that collation for the results. We can use collations for specific requests like queries and aggregations, for example, where we are defining a different collation than the one used and defined for the particular collection that supports those find requests or aggregates. That is totally possible. And we can even specify different collations for our indexes. This way we can create an index on name that overrides the default collation or any collection level defined collations. So in this case, we have foreign text being defined as the collection of Portuguese, but we are creating the index using a collation using the Italian language. If we execute a query using that particular field, you might expect that we'll be using this particular index here. Now there's a small caveat. For us to enable the use of this index on this particular query, so we have an index on name and we are querying on that same field. For us to use that index, the query must match the collation of the index, which in this case is Italian. That means that if we run this query without specifying or overriding the underlying defined collection collation, we will not be using this index because it will not match the required collation. So if we run this query, we will see that first of all, we are using a collection scan, meaning that we are not using the index that we recently created. And the collation used to satisfy this query is the underlying collation of our collection. First, to use that index, our query should specify the matching collation for that index. If we do so, once we run the query, we can see that we are in fact having an index scan that matches the index pattern that we want using the index that we specified since the collation matches the index collation. Being able to correctly match and sort text based on a given locale is mandatory for many use cases. So collations allow that correctness in terms of sorting and matching on different locales. In our testing, collations offer a marginal performance impact and should most definitely be used for correctness. Another benefit of introducing collations is the ability to support case-insensitive indexes. To enable these, we can simply define a collection with a given locale on our collation and setting the strength of that collection to one, which offers primary level of comparison, ignoring case and diacritics. If we do so, and if we insert a few documents that only vary on the case, for example, if we express a sort query ascending on name, 
we will see that we have a particular ordering. If we execute the same query, but by changing the order of our sort, now descending, we will get the exact same set of results. This means that regardless of the accent case or even diacritics, this particular collation defined for this collection would allow us to have case insensitive queries and therefore indexes as well. And that's how collations work in MongoDB.